you can call yourself a horror fan, you can claim to have seen all the best horror movies, but there's always going to be something that, for one reason or another, you may have missed. Uh, that's, you know, one of the reasons why I like doing horror movie marathons uh, for October spooky movie season. It's about revisiting old favorites, but also finding new ones. And I had never seen Night of the Creeps, and I thought this was a good chance to do it. Uh, this is from Fred Decker, who also brought us the Monster Squad. So clearly, I mean, this is going to be quality work, right? And uh, well, it is. It's 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 a pretty amazing. Incredible movie, actually. Uh, I, I really loved it. Um, kind of right from the very beginning. Uh, you know, when you see, like, these little aliens on this spaceship, uh, you're like, okay, this is going to be something a little different. Uh, you know, we kind of see where the, the plot is going, where, you know, this alien experiment falls to Earth in the 1950s and, you know, may have some relation to this axe murderer who's who's been torturing the the small town and and things like that um but then it, it moves into uh the modern at the time era of, of 1986 so really what this is i mean it's it's basically 1950s alien invasion movie meets 1980s teen sex comedy, which is a, a, a wonderful combination, um, and it, it, I'll, I'll tell you, this is a, a very, very, very 80s movie, uh, just almost painfully 80s, and in the best possible way, uh, the main plot kind of takes off where we have, well, the tried and true kind of 80s characters, these, these buddies, you know, one's kind of the, the nerdy, lovelorn, kind of everyman guy, uh, Chris, played by uh, Jason Lively, and his devoted best buddy with all the, the s snarky one-liners, uh, JC, who's played by Steve Marshall. Uh, they're trying to join a fraternity uh, because Chris is trying, trying to get with this, this girl, and he thinks that's the only way he can do it, so the fraternity puts them up to this prank to find a, a, you know, like a cadaver and pull, pull this big prank and all that. But it just so happens they, they find this cadaver and you know this <laughs> this secret underground lab with, with the scientists very much not keeping a close eye on things. Played by Oscar nominee David Paymer, um, and they let loose this body. But this has been contained for all these years, for 27 years, uh, and he just so happens to. Uh, be containing this this alien parasite, and it, it spreads like wildfire. So, so basically, uh, these little kind of slug things, they you know leap into your mouth, they infect your brain, they lay eggs, and while doing so, you're you're being turned into this disgusting zombie thing. So it's it's really cool, and you know obviously what kind of brings the movie up to a whole other level. Uh, is, is the detective on the case, which is played by Tom Atkins, who's absolutely brilliant. Uh, he has roots within that 1950s opening where his you know, uh, high school sweetheart had, had been butchered by this axe murderer, and it's you know, been terrifying him for, for years and sticking with him, and, and he wants kind of resolution to that. Uh, he has all, all the great lines, you know, thrill me and whatever, and you know, he's, he's just a very, very funny character a very funny performance and you know getting involved with this story with these kids as they're figuring everything out uh, it, 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 it just plays out really well and you know I have to give the movie credit that you know uh, Fred Decker obviously you know he's uh, written uh, the Monster Squad as well among other things obviously um, so you'd think anyone who brought us the line Wolfman's got nards uh, is, is going to deliver some good dialogue, but it, it is, it, it, you know, it, it really is a sharply written movie. Uh, the humor is, is, is really, really effective. Uh, you know, really good uh, banter, back and forth, lines, jokes, everything like that. Uh, it's, it's really, really sharp, really clever dialogue. 
uh, really funny in a self-aware kind of way. It doesn't take itself too seriously, uh, but is of, of, of the utmost quality. And kind of in, in addition to that, I mean, we, we have all that funny stuff, but it allows itself just a little bit of, of, of characterization, which maybe we don't quite get um, in, in a movie such as this, where, you know, there is this whole scene between Chris and, and, and JC where, you know, Chris is like, ah, everything's a joke to you, and, and JC goes off on, on this whole, whole thing, uh, you know, about their their friendship and, and what things mean to him, and uh, it, it actually kind of strikes a nerve, and, you know, it's at that point in the movie where, you know, maybe 20 minutes in or so, where you do kind of realize, you know, I, I, I like these characters, I, I'm rooting for them, I, I want them to succeed and get what they want, and, uh, defeat the alien zombie invasion and get the girl and win the day and, and, and everything like that. Uh, so in, in, in you know a really odd kind of way you, you do uh, feel invested in these characters, which is so important because uh, you know just having a fun old time is, is one thing, but uh, to, to really get behind uh, the characters, really kind of empathize with them is, is, is another. So I think it, it, it's, it's very effective in that. Uh, and needless to say, this is, you know, prime 80s horror comedy territory where we have the great effects of, you know, the whole alien zombie business. So basically, the way they figure out of destroying these creatures is like, okay, well, first and foremost, you gotta shoot them in the head, blow them the fuck up, and then blast them with a flamethrower so these little slug worm guys don't don't get too far or anything like that. Um, and, you know, that's kind of where everything leads with, with the conclusion, uh, you know, in, including, uh, you know, basically like the whole fraternity becoming infected and leading, obviously, to the, to the great line by Tom Atkins, uh, well, girls, the good news is your dates are here. Well, what's the bad news? They're dead. <laughs> So, it's it's something. Uh, it's it's a, a, a really you know fun movie, uh, cool effects. Uh, again, just just great uh, writing, great dialogue, and just a, a little something extra. So I I, I was very very uh, pleased with this movie and so happy to finally get a chance to see it. You know, uh, again, you, you can think you've you've seen it all, but there, there, I, I no matter how devoted of a horror fan you you, you feel you are, there, there's always going to be something that has just I don't know, it never crossed your path, and this this was one of them for me, and, and this is something I, I know I would have loved when you know I was younger and and first discovering all you know, these crazy wacky '80s horror movies like you know Reanimator, Evil Dead, what, what have you. Um, I, I know this would have been just absolutely perfect, but to to get to, get to experience it now, uh, all these years later, it's like, well, I, I, I have I, I have yet to have discover a, a gem, uh, and and I found it, and I feel really good about it. So, if you happen to be like me, if you haven't had the chance to see this movie, uh, it, I, I I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, it's it's incredible. It's it's great. Uh, just pure '80s horror comedy greatness so uh, a very enthusiastic thumbs up from my part so that's my review night of the creeps uh so we're doing 31 days of horror here on the channel spooky movie reviews all throughout the month of october 2024 be sure to stay tuned for more be sure to comment rate subscribe all that good stuff i'll see you for the next one and until next time stay scared